The automatic transmission is without a doubt one of the greatest innovations in automotive history. With manual transmissions amounting to less than 2% of all new car purchases, hashtag save the manuals, more and more car buyers are choosing an automatic transmission. At first glance, driving an automatic car may seem easier than driving a manual. However, this does not mean that drivers shouldn't take caution when driving an automatic car. Even though driving an automatic car may seem like a breeze, there are several fatal mistakes that you should avoid at all costs. From lazy driving maneuvers to destructive car modifications, and even poor driving skills. There are countless ways that you could unintentionally obliterate your automatic transmission. So here are seven things that you should never do in an automatic transmission car. Never shift from drive to reverse before your car stops moving. All of us have been guilty of this from time to time. Sometimes we can be impatient and shift our car from drive to reverse before coming to a complete stop. Although many drivers believe doing this can be harmless, in reality it can have dangerous consequences for your transmission. If you don't come to a complete stop before switching from drive to reverse and vice versa, you're using the transmission itself to stop the car, not the brakes. This causes your transmission's components to change direction rapidly, wearing out the gearbox very quickly. If your brakes wear down, replacing them will cost you around $100. But constantly shifting from drive to reverse while the car is still moving, prepare yourself for damage that could run you at least $3,000. Never put your car in park before it comes to a complete stop. Some newer cars won't even let you do this, due to speed sensors in the car's software. But if you have an older car and you've been known to do this from time to time, this next point is very important and can save your automatic transmission from irreversible damage. You should remember that park was made to keep your car from rolling away, but not to stop the car while moving. When your car is in park, its transmission is locked up. This means your car's wheels can't move or that they can but with great difficulty. When you put the vehicle in park, a pin locks the transmission's output shaft, which are connected to the wheels of your car. Shifting to park while moving causes a locking pin to be inserted into a gear. The car's moving wheels are also connected to, so when you lock it and keep the vehicle rolling at the same time, there's a risk of breaking the locking pin which can cost you thousands of dollars to fix. Don't put it in neutral at stoplights. Some people believe that keeping your car in drive at a red light wears out your transmission, while others just don't like keeping their foot on the brake pedal when stopped at a red light. Whatever the reason, it's still better to keep your car in drive than to switch it to neutral when stopped at a red light. First off, when your car's in neutral, you don't have as much control over it. So if you ever need to make an emergency maneuver, you may not be able to execute it in time. Also, if you forgot to put your car in neutral and the light turns green, you'll end up revving the engine, wasting fuel. Another strategy people use at stop lights is the emergency brake, thinking that it will save them gas. But in reality, this is completely unnecessary. In fact, the fuel loss is minimal even if you push the brakes in while keeping the gearbox in drive mode. The actual damage takes place when you shift in and out of neutral. Under any and all circumstances, never coast in neutral. You might think this is going to save you some gas, and this somewhat makes sense. You're driving downhill, so why not let gravity take over by putting the car in neutral? But in reality, it's the opposite. Today's modern cars are designed in such a way that they save fuel even if the gear is in drive. They simply cut the fuel supply when going downhill. Secondly, and most importantly, putting your car in neutral while driving downhill actually puts you in danger. It reduces your ability to control the vehicle, and we're sure that's the last thing that you want. When going downhill in neutral, you'll only be able to slow down, and not speed up during an emergency maneuver, but the problems don't stop there. Doing this also cuts the car's oil supply, so the transmission doesn't get the proper lubrication for smooth operation. This results in significant wear and damage which can cost you an arm and a leg. Furthermore, your car's engine runs at its lowest RPM and the oil pump works the slowest when you move in neutral. As a result, the engine doesn't cool down as well as it should and could actually fail due to overheating. Never launch your car while in neutral. Just to be clear, we're not talking about launch control, but another lesser known way that people launch their car. You see, some individuals launch their car from a standstill by revving up the car while it's still in neutral, and then switching the gear to drive to accelerate really fast from a stop position. This causes serious harm to the bands and clutches of the automatic transmission. When you shift, they cause friction to move definite parts, and if you rev in neutral and then immediately switch to drive, these bands and clutches wear out prematurely, which can prove fatal for your transmission. If you keep launching your car this way, these parts won't be able to hold friction anymore, causing the transmission to slip when it's in gear. Although clutches and bands are affordable, what will cost you an arm and a leg is removing the transmission and taking it apart to replace the damaged parts. Furthermore, launching your car during the winter season can be particularly problematic. Your car's oil thickens and moves slowly when the weather is cold. If you shift into gear and start driving at high speeds from the beginning, there's a high chance of sustaining severe internal damage to your transmission. Always avoid keeping the gas tank on low. 
Plenty of us are guilty of driving our cars with the gas tank on low, even though we know it shouldn't be done. Sometimes there's simply no gas stations around, or sometimes you could just be low on cash. But driving low on fuel can cost you much more in the long run, particularly if you have an automatic transmission. The biggest problem is the car's fuel pump, which sends gas from the tank to the engine. It's a crucial component in getting your car running, but it has a tendency to fail and leave you stuck on the highway when you run your car low on gas. Having the proper amount of gas keeps the fuel pump's electric motor at a stable and low temperature. The gas in your car acts like a coolant for the fuel pump's motor, so when you run very low, this allows the fuel pump's motor to suck in hot air, causing the fuel pump to wear prematurely and ultimately fail. In addition to overheating and wearing out the fuel pump, running an older car low on fuel tends to pull up sediment from the bottom of the gas tank. This sediment can clog up the fuel pump's filter. Once this happens, your car's engine is starved of adequate fuel, resulting in complete engine failure and potential damage to your transmission, leaving you both stranded and with an expensive repair bill. Never, under any circumstances, let water get in the transmission. Getting water in your transmission can be a huge problem, and even a small amount can prove to be fatal. When water gets inside an automatic transmission, the clutch's friction lining absorbs it and dissolves the glue that attaches the material to the clutch plates. Usually, some amount of the water will come out of the suspension and form white gummy masses in various areas of the unit. This is why your transmission can't be flushed to remove all of the water. Additionally, the presence of water will cause rust to form on the transmission's gear and metal parts throughout. The amount of water and the length of time that it's inside of the unit will determine the extent of the damage. But to resolve the problem, you'll need to overhaul the entire transmission, costing you thousands of dollars. Well guys, those are 7 things that you should never do in an automatic transmission car. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like what you see the channel, subscribe and put post notifications on. You could also follow the channel on Instagram at ModernMuscleYT. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle, and I'll see ya next time.